Speaking of normalizing, okay, the next thing, you know, as clinicians, you know, oftentimes I'll have people that'll say to me, Sherry, what do you think about recreational cannabis? Mm. How do we normalize that? Because here we are, here we go. This is my big thing. Here we are as doctors and nurses telling people to go out and enjoy themselves and to have a good time and to, and then we judge them for it if they choose cannabis. Right. <laughs> right. right. So how do we normalize adult use recreational cannabis in a way that isn't stigmatizing patients, but also not putting, you know, not being demonized? How can recreational cannabis use not be demonized? How can we actually get more clinicians on board to understand harm mm -hmm. reduction? Because when you look at all the different substances, I literally went through all the different substances, every single organ system, mm -hmm. and you can't even compare. It's not even in the same universe yes. how cannabinoids can support. So if I'm going to have a recreational experience with any type of substance, mm -hmm. it's going to be a substance that's going to have a health benefit. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think we need to like allow, we have to give a little grace, right? right. Because people don't understand and, and it, and we're pushing people to un, to take it in that here is yeah. this plant that is nearly a pharmacy of information and yeah. health benefits and that we can utilize in so many different ways. And on the flip side of that can also safely be used recreationally. There isn't anything else really like that, right? Um, there's other some plant you know, um, aspects and, you know, psychedelics and mushrooms or what have you, but even that is so foreign to most people. Right. So we have to give a little bit of grace that people are going to be slow with this and, yeah. and it's not, and we are not being hypocritical in saying medicinal and recreational in the same conversation. It is just a very unique plant in itself. Right. Yeah. And I well, like to see do the use mm -hmm. and the misuse. You're mm -hmm. either using cannabis appropriately yes. or you're not. It's right. as simple as that. Right. <laughs> right. Absolutely. And that is a big part of the conversation with my patients that I'm always asking, are you using cannabis or is cannabis using you? There you go. And if they can't wrap their head around, if they're not really sure, then that obviously leads to a deeper conversation. And I'm very much aware that for some people, they use it to hide and disappear from society and life and problems, while other people, it allows them to get back into life, right? And so that is why having medical um, having physicians and nurses and people that can kind of stand from the outside with the education to help guide you are really important because some people do fall down a slippery soap and go down the rabbit hole with this. And just like it may be benign to you, you know, just for someone else shopping and gambling is, you know, takes them down a very dark road.